Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. We have a very special edition because uh, we have Niall Red live. Well, this is not. This is pre-recorded. <laughs> but uh, we had to smuggle him across the border. How did you get in here? Um, I flew here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Like he uh, keeps hot dogs in his pockets. The airplane keeps Nigel in its cargo bay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the first actually, I'll talk about that later. What's the first time I came here was very weird because you're supposed to have a proof that you don't have COVID. Mm -hmm. They never asked me. Oh, so you totally could have COVID? Right now. <laughs> no, no, that's the first time. The second, this time, After you they like talks into my face. <laughs> they asked this time. <laughs> Uh, what are you guys up to? You know, people are going to be mad that we haven't done this. I think we actually recorded some and then we just didn't post them. And then now we have to throw them away because it's too late. Do we actually have to? Wait, I really? Edited. That, well, that was the one that was like. Oh, yeah. The... No, that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We just. Whoosh. Yeah. We talked about the. I haven't even listened to it. I'm afraid to. Apparently, my friend says he we made a controversial uh, podcast. I think. Yeah. yeah. But I think that now all that's left is everything except the controversy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like a, it mishmash, was about a mishmash. Well, I, I wasn't there for that one. We're so. throwing away this we're one gonna, too. We're, those words. <laughs> oh, okay. we're supposed to. We gotta do something real quick. Um, we are doing live podcasts mm. in December. There's three dates. If you go to the web, oh, should I should have the website? <laughs> uh, safety third. <laughs> We, we, I don't know what it is. We just got we got yelled at by the uh, the touring company that's doing this because we barely have promoted it, and apparently the venues can see how many tickets have been sold. Uh oh, <laughs> not enough for them uh -oh. to be happy. So we gotta. <laughs> I mean, not enough for them to be happy. I think it's not enough to even call it a show. So well, how many parents do we have well, between us? Eight? That's eight people right there, probably, for at least one of the cities. Yeah. And that's probably well, more, there, than, more than the tickets we've <laughs> sold already. There's 50,000 so, people that watch this a week. Uh, so that means there's a thousand of you in every state. So there's so a thousand God. of you. Actually, let's say if, if this doesn't sell out, the podcast is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> so what we need you to do is go to safetythird.live and uh, if you're if you're within reasonable distance of one of those dates we've or got Chicago distance. December 9th, Milwaukee December 10th, Minneapolis December 11th. Uh, please. How many states is that? 3 states? 2 I hope states? it's 3. That's embarrassing cuz I That's 3000 <laughs> people. Yeah. In the tri-state area. We're going to be. And you can go to multiples if you want. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can go to all three. If please. you go to all three. <laughs> please, we're desperate. <laughs> Yeah. There if you no go to limit. all three, you can touch you can, Nigel. You can also yeah. buy more than one ticket for the same show. Oh, yeah, you don't have to show, show up. Just buy the tickets. Yeah. Sit on you. you don't even have to show up. Just buy the tickets well, and give, us, give us the if, money if and don't go. all three shows, Nigel will spit on you. <laughs> <laughs> on any part of your body <laughs> that you want. Yeah, wherever you want. <laughs> 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 I don't know about that. I, you know, I feel like I have to describe what it is, but it's like I, you know, I, we're just gonna go and then we're gonna we're just gonna answer it's questions good. and hang out and talk about things. You know, we're gonna you know, talk I think about politics and tell people who they should vote for. Oh wait, can we play a game of Magic the Gathering on stage? Can we do a live game of Magic the I'm Gathering? I'm sure people would love that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ten minutes of silence, looking up your hand. <laughs> I, I, I think know, the pitch you just do? gave gave everybody all they need to know about the show. <laughs> uh, yeah, planning is none of our strong points. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like we should have s mm, some topics. Oh, wait, come on. This, this podcast is about uh, what do we talk about? The live show. There, I'm, I'm the live there's show. secret I'm topics you can only find out if you're I, at the show. Yes. Right, right. They, yeah. It's a secret that we'll, we don't even know until <laughs> yeah. we're at the show. Yeah, at each show, Nigel is going to do the world's largest elephant toothpaste in the audience. Each one will be slightly larger <laughs> oh, than the last. Everyone yeah. just dies. And Kevin, Kevin's going to do something cool. He's going to fart without crapping his pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Live on stage. Live on stage. <laughs> I mean, King ass first. ripper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. I uh, would, I would, I, feel... I would buy a ticket. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> I mean, Alan, Alan, you could. I would buy. I'm three not going tickets. to though. I would. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> I would buy four, five tickets and lay down and fall asleep. <laughs> I don't know if the armrest pulled up though. So. 
I actually, yeah, I totally forgot about the podcast. Sorry, the, the, the maybe we will cut this part out. And, uh, I mean, that's part of the brand because <laughs> you mentioned it, and then basically I came back into the room, and my brother was like, uh, I think he's like, so, um, are you ready for the live show? And I was like, what live show? <laughs> He's like, the artwork was just released today and the dates of the live show. And I was like, what live show? <laughs> Will told us about is, this live show like two months ago. Yeah, to be fair, I, have, I also like, forgot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a live show. Fault. I thought it was canceled for some reason. Well, Will just comes up like three days ago like, hey, yeah, guys, still going to this live show? Well, he's asking if you're going and he's saying, not just going, hosting. <laughs> <laughs> I said well, so, yes, I'll be there. Um, yeah, we kind of uh, we were we were asked if we wanted to do a live show, and I was like, that that sounds like fun, and uh, yeah. and that was all that was all the thought that went into. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are getting yelled at by the touring company. I think it's weird. Like I was, it's weird for me though because I feel like talking to the mic. Oh, sorry. As when I was a kid. The idea of performing on a stage was the biggest, worst thing I could have possibly imagined that it's I would still do. Rough. Why am I doing this? <laughs> well, I mean, you're not performing. performing. Yeah, what are you performing? We're not doing like this. As a performance, I can always claim they didn't like the performance, and now there's nothing. No, they just hate you. They just for don't who you like are. me. Oh, actually, like, can when, we uh, when, can like, we do Death of a Salesman? That'd be cool. Can we perform Death of a Salesman on stage? <laughs> what is that? Or like cast, <laughs> you know, like a stage play or a musical. I'd, I'd rather give the audience a remote for tasers. And we, <laughs> yeah, and I'd rather show the audience my butthole than try well, to. Well, that's part of cats. It's a huge shit. part of cats. <laughs> Buttholes? Yeah, I think I think uh, the, the, the you uh, as a cat you would have to show them your butthole mm. <laughs> while singing memories. <laughs> all right, I feel like that's enough of the live show. Everyone, we've already sold out all the tickets in the first couple yeah. minutes. <laughs> 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 Everyone who is going to buy a ticket has already done it at this point. <laughs> people are like they're trying to get refunds you know, so I think the saddest thing is if we post this podcast and then the ticket sales go down then everything like, <laughs> even fewer <laughs> even fewer people <laughs> it, it, we'll have a lot of fun with like 10 people in the audience I mean that honestly would be a I mean the tour, that'd be dude, fun they would cancel the whole thing they completely wouldn't even it. pay for it I mean, dude apparently it's really expensive to do live shows this is why they're mad at us what, what are they paying for money. the, the theater the already the venue charges a lot of money yeah and, yeah the venues why? suck dude they like they charge they take a percentage if you sell merchandise mm -hmm. they take a percentage but then you also have to provide your own people to run a merch booth and so it's like the venue kind of just what? like they just yeah. middleman everything yeah the venue just they provide nothing and they middleman it all and then they have if they have a bar I like we're like derailing our let's, own. Let's do this in the <laughs> yeah, Denny's like, parking lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, why don't we just do this outside? Bar. You're just trash talking <laughs> your own life. <laughs> don't get me started on the overpriced alcohol. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark Rebier was ripping on it recently because they uh, venues will take everything. They'll take merchandise, mm. but then they have like if they do sell drinks, like then that's all their money. Test. Hey, we can hear you. <laughs> uh, I thought it was peaking. Uh -oh. So, <laughs> Kevin. Uh, anyways, we'll see all 10 of you in December, Chicago, Milwaukee, Minneapolis. Let's talk about uh, what we've been doing recently. I feel like there's something that we've been doing that has yet to have been ever talked about on the podcast. And it's, it's all Alex Ernst's fault. Mm. I'm out of the loop on this one. <sighs> um, Alex Ernst. Oh, this we, is who Alex okay. Ernst is. Yeah, Alan knows what I'm talking about. Uh, Alex Ernst is the kind of person who, if someone gives him something for free, he will spend twice as much money as the thing costs trying to figure out how to make it work. Uh, so <laughs> someone someone gave him two starter decks of Magic the Gathering cards. <laughs> Which is what, worth what, like $20? If, yeah, no, like, it's it's a two, two 30 like card 10. starter decks? Like that's, you probably find that somewhere for like five bucks. <laughs> so then then he calls me and he's like oh like uh, you know how to play magic because he has these things now and he wants to use them because he likes <laughs> I, you know it's like he wants the utility kind of likes using stuff uh i feel like a lot of people do um and alan happened to be right next to me when he called and i looked at alan and i didn't know this but um I i've never seen alan's eyes <laughs> make that like weird it was weird, dude. It was like someone who hadn't smoked crack, but they, they still wanted crack. In weeks. Someone hadn't smoked in weeks. Like, 
I mean, I'm I'm not even exaggerating. Like it was a, it, there was this very like weird reaction from Alan where it was like he was very like too excited. I was very excited. I I used to play Weirdly excited though. I so I mean, as soon as he said that, the thing is, I used to play a lot of Magic: The Gathering in college, and I I quit. I stopped playing. Like, like all my cards, I like I put in Illinois where my parents live. And I, I decided never to play again because it was one of those things where it was just like taking up way too much of my time. Like I was spending a lot of time. Like I don't think I don't think people realize that's like like you can play magic, like it's a card game, but you can also sort of like put your cards into decks. You can build decks and it's like you can have all these strategies and you can put all these mechanisms together. And it's like I stopped and I have not played Magic in many, many, many years. And so when Alex... Because it, it was, like, consuming your life? Yes, yes. And so... <laughs> Even, like, when you weren't playing the game. Well, yeah, because, like, like... Like, with friends. You, like, I, I had a, an enormous pile of cards. And uh, what would happen is, like... I would I would like just walk by them and I'd go huh I wonder I wonder what would happen if I did this I would like I would just I would kind of like veer towards the cards like a black hole and I would like start just like putting cards together to see like you know if they play well together and then it'd be like that'd be the rest of my day it's like if I would go out to the kitchen <laughs> the to get like a day. glass of water and then my day would be done because then I'm just looking at the cards for the rest of the day <laughs> it was bad I stopped because it was bad but the Alex Ernst gave me this perfect opportunity where it's like, well, it's not, I'm not really playing anymore and I don't have my own Call cards right now. Yeah, no, no, because they're like Alex's cards and he wants to learn. Like, it's, it's a, I'm doing something for a friend, for him, and not for me. So that's okay. So less than a month later, Alan and I now between us have like, like tens of thousands of cards. <laughs> I went on Twitter and asked people, I'm like, does anyone have a collection on it not using anymore? And, and, uh, I, I just, I basically paid, I paid all the shipping costs of people who wanted to give the collections to me. So I spent, wow. you know, what blows my money. mind. I cannot believe that Chelsea actually plays Magic yes. Gathering now. Like the fact she's that playing right they're, they're literally, I cannot believe that i tried to get her to play animal crossing and she may have played it for a couple tens of hours and it's just like i want her to do something that's kind of like i want her to have like a weird hobby like that i yeah. just think that that it's like it's like it's kind of it's good to have variety or something that she has like more in common with me because we don't have too many like hobbies in common and so i was like okay what about like nintendo switch like i get her to play games and it's just mm -hmm. like not and like the last thing <laughs> i ever would have thought <laughs> she would be interested in is magic the gathering like I, I like i was staring at her thought and i thought she was joking i was like are you serious like you you want to you want to and she's like yeah like it kind of looks like you know a cross between like harry potter and lord of the rings like that kind of mythical yeah she, magic she stuff. beat me like the other day in a, in a commander we, we had yeah. commander decks a hundred card deck it's like the probably as complicated as magic gets and I she, was a, she heart of the cards, do you? Yeah, dude. I was about, I was like having a lot of fun, like kind of like toying with her. And I was about to win, but because I made like 10, 14, like 1-1 one, one flying bird tokens. He's like just making a bunch of these little birds that can all attack her and gang up on her. I was about to win. I was one turn away. And then she like pulls a card that like literally does damage to me equal to the number of uh, creatures that I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, it was like a it was like a one move KO. Yeah, and I was like that, like that, that it was like not only was it like sort of my ideal version of a magic game, where it was like it was like the the sort of like who you thought would win kind of like went back and forth, and then sort of the last play was this like yeah. like hail mary thing that totally ended the game. The like Alan, Alan, you were would. set. You were literally going to obliterate her yes. next turn. Yeah. And she had the one card that just absolutely reamed the strategy that you had built up. So no way. Yes, That's pretty yes. epic. It, was so it, was like, it was like a perfect magic game, but on top of it being just like, like a good game of magic, it was with Chelsea Osmond. It was like bizarre. <laughs> Dude, she's kicked my ass a bunch too. <laughs> so wait, Kevin, do you know how to play magic? I used to play in like elementary school. Oh, I had a God. deck, and I have, I have no idea where they that's, are. That's kind of I bizarre. Find I mean, how did a how do you, single card? How do you get into that in elementary school? It's kind of complicated. Because that was like when Pokemon came out. It was like yeah, fifth but grade Pokemon or something. makes sense. But Magic, do yeah, you have an older Pokemon's sibling simpler. Or no, and I just no. It was just like you know, card card games are cool. And since Pokemon is cool, I wanted to try other card games. So I got I got Magic. Right. I remember them. 
Yeah, I taught Nigel to play the other day. I still have, I have no played, idea how to play anymore. I only played I know that that one game like, with you. Yeah, Nigel, Nigel, again, yeah. Nigel didn't seem like he was into it. <laughs> I would. I. I just. I was so sleep deprived before coming here. <laughs> yeah, you. And I'm shit. still like still <laughs> trying to recover. So I was so tired when you were when I was playing with you. I could barely stay awake. I always like the artwork and the little like text at the bottom. Yeah, That's all the I flavor remember. text. The flavor yeah. text. The flavor text. That's what it's called. I feel like it's pretty it's pretty easy to play if you if you don't have any crazy mechanics. Uh, oh, but that's once the best you start part. This, yeah, but I, well, I'm just it saying, like, if, if you're trying to learn and all of a sudden, like, because Chelsea and I have gotten into moments where it's just like, God damn it. Like, we've called Alan like three times in one game where <laughs> no. it's like, yeah, where it's like, like, you understand what the card is saying. But you're just not exactly sure how it works, and like it does. Yeah, because it's like it's it's there's magic is it's it, when when it starts getting like more like when your decks start getting more complicated, then just the ways that they int all the cards interact with each other just start becoming more complicated. It can be tough to tell, especially like when certain things happen. Like timing is a huge thing in magic. Of like what takes priority in terms of like what happens before something else, and it can just get. But that's my favorite. I I love. Like, uh, like board games that are way too complicated, um, and so a Magic the Gathering game where it's like you're you're making like like a bunch of birds, and then you're like making a bunch of like things like exiled from the battlefield, and then they come back and they come back and they've got like they're bigger now. Like I like all of that nonsense. That's my favorite part of Magic. It's just when it gets completely nonsensical. <laughs> Jimmy is staring Chelsea's at us like, right now. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, <laughs> he's just like. Uh, do you think good? Chelsea's going behind your back and like looking up secret deck strategies <laughs> and I, I putting feel together like, secret decks? I feel like there's so much stuff to learn that you just like can't even. But do you like, think she's trying? You think she's like trying to get the? the oh, upper she would. Hand do, on she, you would she would absolutely love to to kick my ass every game. <laughs> Is she peeking at your decks? Can yeah. you do that? Uh, yeah. You, I, mean, you I, don't, make a f- I don't. I don't think either of us are good enough where it would actually matter. Yeah. Like. Maybe after playing a little bit, you could sort of learn what their deck does well and try to defend against it. But this is great. We try to sell a podcast live show and instant, like we start, we talk about Magic the Gathering. I think, uh, yeah, I think this is what us. the people want. This is truly what the people want. <laughs> okay, I mean, let's, let's change gears. It is like an engineering problem. Let's just, let's I think just stop it is. talking about Magic. Yeah, is this, do you think you could like, mathematically win magic games by just like you know there's yeah, got to be some sort of solution that's what people are trying to do just by <laughs> putting, <laughs> <these> <laughs> <laughs> putting together like, the Nigel's perfect as hard as he can he's like dragging <laughs> like his nails are in the ground trying to pull away from this this is a question for Jabril <laughs> you could get Alan to talk about magic literally the whole day I, I, I could get into it I could I mean, get into it dude. I want to talk about your taser gun Oh, the, 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 um, <laughs> the water the stun gun. gun. Did it really? Water did stun it really gun? No, it's a water stun like gun. That? Yeah. No, that was all after That's effects. wild. We tried to do it again on me, but there was something, something was wrong. Yeah, the sparks, we, we didn't get the sparks. And at that point I was just so finished. I was like, no, no, I don't yeah. want to film anymore. Like I got it. I don't, I want to be done. Like I was at, I was at Will's place for the weekend and I had like, I was like still kind of like throwing this thing together. And I like, you know, at that point. I still hadn't had like a really good conclusion and I didn't know what the structure was. Like Will's like literally like sitting there, like, like, like showing me like, Oh, you should do this here. You should do this. He's like literally helping me like with the timeline of my video. And it was like, it was just like, we just needed one last thing of like, you know, like it, it like it works, it works. And so the only thing I had left to do is just double up the stun guns. Right. It was, it was like, it's, it's a, uh, it's a water gun shoots two streams of water and each of those streams is connected to one side of a stun gun, of a taser. So he's a good communicator because he like reiterates the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because I realize there's great. no context for it if they haven't you seen see, the video. The question if, if you haven't no, seen, no, no. Uh, they should have all watched the video already. So if they yeah, if you haven't watched the video already, go go to Alan Pan Dash Sufficiently <laughs> Advanced on YouTube <laughs> and look at the top video. Um, and so the, it it ended up being so good though because for whatever reason, like maybe because it was dark or maybe because it was powerful enough. Like when those two streams of water hit me in the leg, will shot me with this gun. Like you could see the sparks, like there was sparks in the water. It looked like, yeah, it was like a salty spark. It had that yeah, like kind the of orange. sodium glow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like the, the energy, the, the, the electron shell. Yeah. How does that work, Nigel? Like, like you have the what? sodium 
and we get an orange spark, an orange glow off of it. Is that just the electricity literally like energizing the sodium? I Oh no, I'm on the spot. Yeah, you're on the yeah, spot I'm now, now I'm Red. A fraud. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Pocket hot dogs. <laughs> I guess you just excel. You're just you're just um like putting energy into I you there was a lot of salt in it, right? Like juicy. Oh, way too much. Yeah. No, it was a perfect <laughs> amount. Yeah, so you're just putting it into the sodium and then when it dude, I'm so tired. When it drop <laughs> when the electrons drop back down, then they emit yellow light and like sodium stuff. Yeah, and like sodium is specifically yellow. I forget exactly. It's like I forget which five hundred and yeah, something 500, nanometers. 30. I don't know which one it is. And it, it's like a, it's, it's like the lamps. And it puts out it's two like two monochromatic bands. But it's based on I think how the the shells or the how the, the electron relaxes back. And it's a bunch of quantum stuff that I oh weird. That's how the CO2 uh, that I only laser pretend I know, works. but then fall apart when I'm it asked like, to it, explain. It like makes sense, except then it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's one of those it's, things that is, it, it, it seems like it should that, be a simple thing, but then it turns out it's actually really complicated. It has to do with how yeah. the electron, I think, jumps and then oh, I forget. It's the it's the energy gap between. I, I don't remember. It's because one thing I've always wanted to I do never talk about or do. is like the CO2 laser. I'm like 90 percent sure this is how it works. It's it's like uh, you can probably just look it up. Well, I think I have in the past. I'm <laughs> sure it's it you use high voltage to like pump up those like electron states. So you're like you're like pushing stuff up the quantum levels, and then the uh, you're you like you get like this avalanche effect where once it starts emitting, like once they start collapsing and emitting, they start like triggering the same thing with like the molecules next to it, and so you mm -hmm. end up with like very kind of like avalanching emission and then you just keep charging it up at the same time but you can do this thing called like q switching where you can block the you can block the light from bouncing back and forth inside of the laser so you can block that like the right. avalanche you've got triggers. like a half like a half mirror thing yeah it's like kind <clears> of <throat> something like that so like basically when when light's emitted it starts bouncing back and forth and that bouncing back and forth triggers more light to like fall out it. yeah but it, but the problem or the 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 phenomenon is that when it triggers it, the like the photons sort of emit in the same like wave pattern. So it's like, what do they call that? Like uh, coherent, coherent, right? And so it's like it's timed perfectly. So the waves work together and then a certain percentage of that energy leaves the tube. But you can do this thing where if you block the mirror, you can charge the tube gas up all the way. It's crazy. Heat it's like, switching and like it's like a burnout, dude. It's like doing a burnout in a car. You like rev the engine and then drop the clutch and all the energy, that inertia that was stored up mm. in the engine just gets dumped. And so like the, the gas gets fully charged and then you let it you let it avalanche by by opening that mirror connection. So it bounces back and forth and then it just dumps like a gigawatt or, gig, or like multiple gigawatts of like optical power out. So this is how they that's for, how they for measure like a the, nanosecond. Yeah, it's how they measure the distance to the moon. When you were a kid, did you ever, you know, it's like when you thought what if you put a mirror, a a, a light bulb in a perfect mirrored box, <laughs> what would happen? It's yeah. like literally what's happening. And then you you take one end of the box off and like all the light just goes boom. Didn't they someone do that? Didn't Action Lab do that? They put a, a a light a camera in a a spherical like a mirror that's Probably. a sphere on the inside. I don't remember what so the like result was, so yeah. probably wasn't that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what? If it was mind blowing, I would have remembered it. Yeah. Do, okay, so when they measured, I like, I want, I really wanted to measure the distance to the moon, and then I realized it was basically impossible to do in your garage because they have retro reflectors <laughs> on the moon that were dumped there and like during the moon missions, and uh, they dump like it's like gigawatts of optical power to the moon. And by the time the laser reaches the moon, it's like two kilometers wide. Yeah. So the beam yeah. has just been like diverging, diverging, diverging. And then and the, they bounce it off of like a 30 foot telescope on Earth. Yeah. So then to, when the like when the photons really nice come back, the beam has now diverged to like 15 kilometers wide. And then when they measure the light coming in, it's like it's single photons that they're capturing. Yeah, yeah that would be hard to do in your garage. Yeah, <laughs> and you have to like it's it's not only like like the power, but it's the mm. optical equipment and I think the altitude. I think you need to just get away from as much crap as possible. 
Didn't you so, have a video idea for uh, something else? Though, measuring, measuring, measuring like the, the speed, speed of, of light, light using with, stuff I bought at the dollar store. Yeah, yeah, that 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 would yeah. be different, right? Are you still gonna do that? Uh, I I don't know. I just feel like people just I don't know. I feel like some people would really like that video, and other people just wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> Also, it's really hard. It's really hard. There's a guy who lives pretty close to here that I've talked to a little bit who I feel like could help me do it. That way it's not just like me struggling to figure this out. And then I have a video like four months later. Um, but you you can spin if you spin a disc really fast uh, that has slits in it. OK, here's here's the analogy. So the analogy is like let's say you have a disc with four holes on it in it and it's spinning and the holes are like, let's say they're, you know, like four inches wide and you know you can throw a ping pong ball through them so the idea is you the disc spinning you throw a ping pong ball at the perfect time so it passes through one of the holes and there's a wall on the other side so the ping pong ball bounces back and you do it really fast so the ping pong ball doesn't really drop or pretend like there's no gravity so what you can do is if the ping pong ball comes back and doesn't make it through a hole it's going to like hit the non-hole of the disc you can change mm -hmm. the speed of the disc to determine when the ping pong ball makes it perfectly through mm. again, if that makes sense. Wow. So you can yes. sort of, you can mechanically like mask a light that's bouncing a distance and based on the speed of that disc and the number of holes, so you can calculate how long it takes. Oh, I see what uh, you're yeah, talking right? about. Does that make sense? So it's like you're, you're literally yeah, shooting yeah. light out and if it comes back it's and like makes it through a hole. you don't even need anything else to measure it. Right. You just need to measure the RPM of the disc. The yeah, but you need that the hole the disc, it would have to fuck it. It would have to spin so, really fast. Yeah, so right? I, did, I did the I did the math. I did the math. If you had a you need <laughs> like you need a hole with like two thousand discs or two thousand slits. You need two thousand <laughs> discs. You need a slit with two thousand discs in it. Uh, and you need it to be spinning at like a couple thousand RPMs. That's and bad. you need I think like a couple kilometers oh, of distance. So you, can, you, can, you can start to see like how fast the speed of yeah. light is where you need a bunch of discs, like a bunch of slits. You need to spin really fast and you need a shit ton of distance. So the further the and distance, the slower through, like, the disc. Right, because I bet up until so that just point, go it's coming back through the same mm -hmm. hole that you're shooting it through. Just I think it's the next you, hole. Just make just I, just make yeah. a super fast disc. Go like 50k. RPM. I mean, you could you could go 50,000 RPM. <laughs> yeah, so I do. Terrifying, dude. Uh, you guys ever watch instructional videos from like the 60s? No, uh, no. is this something no, that you just black and do? white? It's got like that that really nice sort of like smoky like, like radio how narration. Car differentials work. Yes. Oh, it's oh a yeah. Classic. yeah. yeah. So I, I went through a bunch of those uh, years ago about like measuring light. And one of the things they can do is they can have a mirror. So it's like a multi-sided mirror that spins really fast. And the effects that you can, you, the fact that you, you can showcase the delay in the speed of, like you can show that light is an instant because the disc will spin really fast. Or the, sorry, the, Jimmy, he's just pulling trash out of the trash can. You're a <laughs> goblin. Uh, the mirrors, the multi-sided mirror will spin really fast. And so the light Damn it, how do I explain this? There's a laser pointer pointing at the spinning multi-sided mirror. There's a mirror somewhere on the other side, like a kind of like a V shape. So it bounces like a V. Mm -hmm. And then it bounces back at the spinning disc. And then you put a like a piece of paper next to the laser pointer, and you'll see that the laser shifts a tiny bit. Mm. So when it hits the spinning mirror, it bounces off, hits a mirror, another mirror that's stationary. And it comes back and hits the same exact mirror that it just bounced off, but it's slightly twisted. Because it's spinning. It's spinning. It's slightly different than when it left the mirror. And so when it bounces Wait, back to Wait, are you to saying the, that it's like <clears throat> the. <laughs> no. Yeah. So I'm, you have to spin. I'm to pretty spin. tired too. <laughs> so are you saying that like the spinning disc is like curved, like, like physically, like. Bouncing the photons. Well, it's just it's, that it's, it's at a slightly they, different they, angle as when yeah. it first hit. Because the, the, so yeah, imagine it's like a snapshot in time, right? So it's like the you know you have your laser pointer, you have this mirror. Oh, I it see. Hits I the see mirror, what you're and pretend about like the mirror's now. not moving. It bounces off, hits a stationary mirror, and then it comes back. But action reality, that mirror is spinning, so it's slightly at a slightly different angle by the time the, yeah. the light comes back to it. And so then it, you, you can literally, if you change the RPMs, you can see the laser pointer shifting left and right when it <laughs> returns. I thought you were talking about like, say, if you just have a flat disc on a wall and you spin it, 
and then you like squirt water at it, and the water just goes like, oh, you mean, like up on the wall. Like, like, it's the nearest thing so fast is warping. I thought it was like time. flinging the it's photons. Like, <laughs> seen photons of fire. Yeah, I mean, that'd be cool really if you could do that. It's like I don't, I don't know which one's harder. I think they're both probably pretty difficult. And and like you could just do this on a track and field, like over a couple hundred meters with modern electronics. Like you could do it with an Arduino. Dude, you can literally buy a sensor for your Arduino that does this. I know for like. <laughs> 10 bucks. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't think it, I don't think it explicitly measures the light though. I think it's, it's measuring pulses. So it can tell the phase I shift. I think it measures like the phase, yeah, the phase shift. Right. So there's, that. I think some tricky stuff going on to make it more accurate. I don't know exactly. Dude, light's cool. But it still can measure light. It's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, this, I don't, this. I, I don't do any light <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Anyways, I think it's about time we talk about the sponsor of this podcast, Light. It Light. is cool. <laughs> no, it's just pho- photo chemistry is just not that common. You want to brighten your day, you get some light in it. At, go to just Google search for light. Yeah, Google search for light. Go to light.com slash light. You can get 50% off your first order of light for the are first you, three months. Are you months. feeling sad and depressed? Just go outside and get some light. Can you not? Such are you not seeing anything with your eyeballs? Well, that's because you don't have light, stupid. <laughs> Stupid idiot. <laughs> yeah, I would love to do experiments like that. I just feel like I, I feel like I would love to do a video about how on YouTube if you do a video about something cool that people won't watch it. So it's like a double <laughs> I mean, video. Yeah, that's like there it's it's a, a meta. You're, a meta it's video, almost yeah. like because it's like the problem is I I swear to God, there's a certain point where like like for your personal like knowledge you will get to the point where you will think something's really cool, but then if you try and communicate, you'll realize that you think it's cool because you have sort of like a pyramid of understanding that's led up to you realizing yeah. something's cool. And there's no, oh, yeah. like sometimes there's no way to build that up in a, like a 15 minute video for an audience. And you just realize like sure. this is actually like, it's a thing that's too smart to actually, like it's, it's outsmarted right. itself. It's not cool anymore. So, wait, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. What? Like no, say it, say it, say it, say it. <laughs> Say it, Nigel. I'm, I'm just saying that, like, I'm again. I'm so tired, so like, my thoughts are not super. He's about to say the most racist thing we've ever heard in our entire lives. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You're like, speaking as a Japanese person. <laughs> oh, forget it. No, I'm so tired. I'm not even trying to get out of it. I straight up just might. I won't be coherent in what I say. <laughs> Like uh, a laser. <laughs> Derek, dude, I feel like Derek, there's a handful of YouTube channels like Veritasium who can get away with this kind of crap. Um, like he's got how the universe is hostile to computers. Like I I would have never thought that that would do well. And it's really? got 10 million views. So what the hell? It's yeah, good. There's some cool stories in there. The thumbnail is really good, though. It is. That's what made me click on it. <laughs> I heard he's got a team of like 40 people making thumbnails. Not <laughs> <laughs> he has one you person for every just, pixel. Yeah. yeah. They, everyone just chooses a color and it just yeah. somehow works. <laughs> I, I, everyone who like <laughs> listens or, or watches this garbage that we make uh, and then pays for tickets to a live show. <laughs> gonna be at. Um, I feel like they're all going to disagree. Like I would watch that video. And it's like, yeah, that's the problem. It's like we know. And like, like it's because... Like we have a lot more in common You're than part the, of the average problem, YouTube viewer. And so the problem is you have people who like are really into the same stuff that we're into, but that general audience isn't there. And so it's like you could make that video and it would just like you put a bunch of effort into it and it just like wouldn't do well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you got to do those kind of projects sometimes or else you go crazy. Uh, but that's why I like measuring the speed of light. They also make you go crazy. Yeah. Measuring the speed of light with stuff from the dollar store. But yeah, like, would anybody, like, who, is that even good clickbait? I don't know. Maybe. Is that, I don't know. I don't see, I don't know anymore. Dude. I agree with it's Kevin like, that there, you have there's, to do there's stuff. There's a story like there. that. It's good. What if I put you gone know, you can sexual make any in the title? Or, or well, uh, you can, a real prank, or I don't know what. You're going to make oyster farming a good video. Yeah, but it's not going to be tell oyster farming. It's going to be my <laughs> my fights that I get into with YouTube commenters. <laughs> Well, you. <laughs> well, you just if you can it. find if you can find any commenters arguing over the speed of light, then you got a video right there because you can prove them wrong. Yeah, but then everything is about like, oh, like this person's wrong, and I'm gonna like everyone loves that they People love the love like that. the punching like the yeah, brutality. just keep it off, just beat up on flat earthers. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, that's like, an untapped like market. Find it though. 
if you find something that pisses you off, it works. I just, I hate like seeking stuff out. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm going to look for, like today. We're going to find something that pisses me off and then I'm going to make a video <laughs> about it. It's like, no, like it needs to be like, I was actually pissed off by it. Just go on Reddit. Find some comment that you don't like and make a video proving them wrong. <laughs> I get in a lot of fights on Reddit. I, yeah, I could do a whole series on Oh my god! Yeah, but all the counters are just Reddit? you, dude. I hate Reddit. It's do you such, comment though? You fight people on Reddit? Yeah, all the time. I can't get. I can't. Stop. Are you literally like <laughs> backyard scientists when you fight, or do you, you have like a no? No, no it's a got secret. You got a secret account where you're like, as a gay yeah. black man, I disagree <laughs> with your comment. Who, who was that? What was that guy's name? It was like it was like, it was like a, it was like a, some like some some politician who like didn't log out of their actual account, and then later <laughs> oh, he was like he was like, oh, I was yeah. just, no, it's it's a real guy. I know, and I was quoting him. <laughs> oh my god that's a good save yeah oh yeah god. no yeah yeah that's <laughs> that's how you know you that that's... you can't prove him wrong <laughs> well, like, where where are you in your life like how do you get to the point where you have a set you're like a, a middle-aged white man and you have a second twitter account where you're claiming to be a <laughs> black guy yeah a sp- a specifically I mean, just to like official, so. just to oh, make yeah, it I mean, look like that there's a gay black man who would agree with you like you have to make one up did. Right. <laughs> he clearly did something right, though, if he, like, somehow got elected. I don't think he did. Did he? <laughs> well, I mean, or was he? I don't know. I don't know. That word. I have no idea. I don't know. So, wait, Kevin, um, there's, because uh, you said that you have to do those video ideas sometimes. I don't know about that, but do you have, like, what, what do you have churning? What do you have sort of in the back burner of, like, a video idea <laughs> yeah, that's too smart? in your brain talking yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> What's, well, like, a, a too smart video <laughs> that you want to do? Wait. They're, the the worms are still bored in the train of thought right now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Alan, they, I did want to. Oh, I want to say really quick. What I was going to say before, in like the fewest words possible, was I think I thought it was funny <laughs> that instead of maybe just accepting that you're right. Like that, your idea maybe wasn't good. No, it's too smart. It's too smart. Too smart. It's too smart. No, it's not that it's it bad. It's that it's too smart. It's just not good. <laughs> no, never, it's just never that, smart. Nigel. It's never that the video is bad. It's that's okay, too smart. Here we go. Only smart people watch this video. <laughs> I was gonna. Say, I was going to say that. Only smart people Dude, welcome understand to YouTube. this video. Twenty twenty one YouTube. You somehow have to. Trick people. That's actually under. pretty good. I'm not stupid. I'm gonna watch. No, but the, yeah. it says only. I would be funny. Say only smart people will understand it, but then nobody understands it, and then they'll all be thinking they're stupid. It's a, it's uh, the emperor, the emperor's new clothes, kind of a situation, right? Where it's like everyone's like, "Oh yeah, I understand that video." <laughs> what video? I, is I, it? I, yeah, <laughs> like the movie. The yeah, you know the story where it's like the emperor is like he he gets tricked, he gets conned into wearing nothing because it's like the people are like oh yeah the we have the finest textiles they're so light you can't even feel them and only wise mm. people only the wisest of the wise can see these clothes. Oh. So the king's like oh yeah it's beautiful <laughs> and he walks out like in a parade and everyone's like oh it looks so good because no one wants to admit that they don't see anything and then it's like it's like a little girl or something in the audience is like but he's just naked and everyone's like holy crap he is naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Which that with a YouTube right, nice. title. Alan, I'm looking back at my videos that that only that I wanted to do. <laughs> the title be how I became a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's you naked, and there's a a little girl pointing a finger at you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your idea, I know Kevin? Kevin. I don't I'm thinking me. that I'm, I'm just justifying this to myself, like in retrospect, that oh, all the videos that I wanted views? to do are just the bad videos. And I'm like, you know, I wanted to do that to make myself feel okay. Uh-huh, all right. Uh huh. It's called self care. <laughs> yeah. Like pouring beans in a motorcycle. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, I remember that, that, one that was for me. Okay. <laughs> no, you just copied that from Ross. I did not. <laughs> I did. That was just Kevin's a trend <laughs> coincidence. <laughs> you know what you, Kevin, you what, should do. do you have any other, what other ideas? Do you have any new ideas that uh, you think would that you want to do, but they just wouldn't perform? Oh, oh wait! I got to show you guys. I have. A, I just found a list of old videos that I wanted to do. Oh God! Let's hear them. Like Pitch from em. 2015. Pitch em. Carp tank. Pitch them. I'll be right back. Here, I know. I'll I know. My, for, uh, oh what? Yeah. I was just going to say, I know for me, there's uh, like, you I think there's a, a couple projects ideas. that I just know that I want to do, but <laughs> would just like take way too long. It wouldn't be worth it. I think one of them was like 
a while ago, I wanted to try and make like a like a like a three D bio printer where um, what I wanted to try is you know um, I'm looking I'm looking what do they call them um, sea sponges you know sea sponges you can like literally put them in a blender and like dissociate like every single one of their cells but like like that goo will actually like come back together and form a new sea sponge okay like they're so simple their cells are so undifferentiated that like they're like they're not super specialized so if you like put a human in a blender like all the bone cells and all the liver cells and all the brain cells like they get all mixed up you can't put them back How together do you know this well i assume i uh all through <laughs> extensive experimentation with homeless people um, <laughs> like, you take a sea sponge then, then don't worry i paid them, them. <laughs> yeah no uh, i played them in a game of magic the gathering and they lost <laughs> this sounds price. like some 1940s like war crime that <laughs> Wait, so if you, are you saying you blend somebody up? No, if you blend a sea sponge up, then the cells are so, un, like, their cells, uh, they essentially have, like, six or, like, a dozen different kinds of cells, so it's not super specialized. So if you put it in a blender, the cells can just kind of, like, come back together and make a whole new sea sponge. And so what I want to do was, like, take a sea sponge, put it in a blender, and essentially make that, like, a, put that into some kind of, like, an ink or a filament, that you could then 3D print as like in a gel or something. And the oh, idea was that cool. hopefully like the sea sponge would reform, but in the shape that you had printed it in. Um, and then you could like print, I think the idea was like, I was gonna print like a, a, a SpongeBob SquarePants out of sea sponge and see if it grew to be shaped like SpongeBob SquarePants. And that's like one of those things that's like, it would take like that's years, so it would take years and no one would care. And it would be just the worst What if you video. just take a sea sponge and like stick it in like a plastic mold of SpongeBob? <laughs> in a Motorola <laughs> machine, put a sea sponge in a Motorola yeah. machine. <laughs> I like the idea that it's just definitely going to die. <laughs> that, you, I guess you, it's true. You could just blend it and put it in a mold, right? You could. You could. But you see already, like, why this video idea completely falls apart. Like, it it's just, just like convinced the entire hard part. Because <laughs> well, the part, that was the part I was interested in. was, like, uh, 3D printing it, you if know? You, Dude, all right, Kevin, uh, give us some of your ideas that you've got written down from. Yeah, I want to hear yours it? now. This isn't one of my old ideas, but I just had this idea. If you blended a whole person, <laughs> no, no, yeah, not yeah. even blended. If you centrifuged a whole person, <laughs> could you separate them into layers of cells? Oh, like, oh, have, like, like you could see like it, like a stratification of like here's where all his blood yeah. ended up, and here's where all his bones ended up. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would be cells. I think it would just be everything separated. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, well, here's <laughs> Kevin's disappointed. <laughs> well, I guess oh, I anyways, here's my ideas. Yeah, no. Oh, these are if all bad ideas. Thermite well, on a look at the blue ones. squirrel. Does it say thermite on a squirrel? What did that say? Thermite oh. on a spinning fan. Oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> thermite in a dryer. Thermite in <laughs> a can. Thermite, Ther <laughs> <laughs> thermite in water. <laughs> Like a little kid, like a little kid with ideas. Holy shit! Thermite versus a bullet. <laughs> Wait, Kevin, how old are these ideas? 2015. Okay. Oh, they That's sound so like 2015 funny. ideas. Like they definitely do. So this is like. And you know, this is the same kind of comments I get on my YouTube channel too. I'll get like emails like, what Kevin. happens if you put thermite on a gun and shot it? <laughs> I'm like, this is a stupid idea. But then I'm looking back at this, all my ideas. <laughs> Kevin's like, oh no, I was, the stupid wasn't here the whole time. <laughs> what are your other ideas? Yeah, I want to hear all no, of my right. versus ideas. I, I have, thermite versus ideas. Batman. It's, a, it's it's called it engineering. <laughs> Sentry gun, laser mount, targets birds and people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Take that, got, Michael This is why I got kicked out of high school. <laughs> <laughs> Another engineering is rail gun. That's it. Just says rail gun. That's it. Just says rail gun. Two guns. <laughs> I have some chemistry videos. Mm. Which I think is just drug cooking, synthesis. Cooking method in an easy bake <laughs> oven. <laughs> what, what is your idea? What is your idea? Well, one is uh, make extracting the chemicals from Detura, Devil's Breath Angel's Trumpet. What? Um, what? what? Devil's Breath Angel's Trumpet? I don't know. They're like chemicals that have, uh, what's it, Nigel in it? It's like I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's like a hallucinogen. It's a plant. Okay. Why, why do you just it's like, assume I know? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, the, what you, everybody who got into chemistry probably did it through drugs. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's angel's trumpet. It's like angel's kids, trumpet. Do, kids, kids hear that this plant can get you high, and mm. it doesn't. It's basically like, you know in Dark Knight when that guy blows some powder in everyone's okay, face yeah. and they like get and they freak out? Yeah. It's basically that. Is it like that? dissociates you from reality. Like yeah. schizo dust? Yeah, exactly. Well, so you, that's well, a there's a thing that you could actually do that to people? I mean, it's an urban legend. Oh, if you look okay, it up, okay. So you'd be like I can't remember the it. name of the chemical. but Angel's Trumpet know. is so anyway. ominous. I like that name. Right? Yeah. Because it's very much like I think that's what what heralds in the apocalypse is an tr- angel's trumpet. Uh, I I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Kevin, but is it scopolamine? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yep. you do know it. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Chemistry and another one I had was L tryptophan <laughs> to tryptophan. What produced by parasite? Wait, read that again. Oh. Oh, L tryptophan to tryptophan. Is that like an intermediate for DMT? I don't know. <laughs> you know, if but, people were as excited about like math and science yeah, as they were about drugs and guns, we'd be like living on the moon right now. Yeah, you don't even know what that idea is. I have a note here that says it's produced by the parasite that, that it gives you sleeping sickness or huh. something. Okay, it's, like a, it's like a not, parasite in Africa mm. that bites you and you get sleepier until you die. Sounds nice. Yeah, yeah, that's that actually nice. sounds great. <laughs> what are your What are your other ideas, Kevin? No, that's not good. You don't want to hear the rest. I want to oh, hear. Oh about, yeah, give us the bad ones. These are the yeah, best what about uh, ex- extracting adrenochrome from kids' blood? <laughs> 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 that's a not red video. No, that's a not blue video. <laughs> Ah, uh, maybe no. That's a main channel. That's a main <laughs> channel. <laughs> If you're looking to mine crazy was, comments, this one was really ambitious. It was chemical single oxygen singlet oxygen laser. That's that's too big, too complicated. What, what is that? <laughs> that was a tw- that was 2015. Kevin dreaming way too big. What is this? Mean? I love like, yeah, he's got these huge a, ideas, and then and he's then just like Orbeez thermite. in a pool. No, <laughs> the big ideas and thermite on a fan. <laughs> I have pulse jet and and uh, pulse jet and turbo jet ideas. A bunch of them. Oh, dude, before. pulse jets. That's that's old school, dude. Colin's already done that to death. He's done that, but yeah. it's time to bring it back. He hasn't done it. I mean, that's true. Probably <laughs> at this point, like anything, any videos that are like five years old, you would probably like recreate to the, the to like the exact detail, and no one would notice. What uh, yeah. What is sort of the timeline proximity of these ideas to when you were just pouring aluminum all over stuff? <laughs> it was probably about that because I'm like, wow, this is way easier. It gets a lot more views. <laughs> That's what I mean, though. It's like you end up outsmarting yourself by trying to do the smart stuff when you just need yeah, to pour. Everyone's more, like, why don't you just do the dumb thing? But then everyone watches dumb thing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I have Pulse Jet Extreme Breakfast Delivery Vector. <laughs> what so is I, that? I guess what I was thinking is <laughs> you're just like, you have a Pulse Jet <laughs> and you pour orange juice like in the exhaust or something. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, sir, what is a pulse jet? It's uh like an it's a type of, it's, it's, it's like one of the simplest jet engines. It's a it's a it's a jet engine that has no moving parts. It it has mm. a a pulse sort of combustion exhaust cycle that is completely self sustaining, and it's something that you know you can make out of like plumbing parts and that's like how Colin hmm. first got his start on YouTube it was he would make these big pulse jet engines and put them on bicycles and stuff like it's sort of like it's like even even like sort of like I mean I'm not I don't want to say even Colin first could do it like not Colin's like the man but it's like you know he he was a plumber at the time like he was literally making these hmm. jet engines with like bits of metal so it's like the simplest kind of engine you can make it's like a long tube and then you you do like the uh you're feeding in gas and pro like propane and air into one end and then you have a spark plug like say a third of the way down the tube and when you ignite it you get this explosion wave that travels down both sides of the tube but it goes down like the long end it takes it longer to go down the long end so by the time it comes out the short end it's like still going down the long end and then it sucks in new air basically mm. and explodes again yeah it's like a like a very tuned system where like it has to be tuned properly to get that like yeah. weird oscillation we tried making one in my engineering club in college, and we were like yeah. spending all night 
pop, 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 trying to get it to go off, and the cops came. <laughs> they thought it was guns. <laughs> but so you were gonna just put yeah, breakfast man. foods into the exhaust of a of a pulse jet engine yeah, just to I guess so. <laughs> Let, I think it, here's a really good way of describing like what YouTube is. Um, there's a better video about exploring your old video ideas than actually <laughs> doing the idea seriously. Where it's like my old video ideas were bad, and then you just do your old video ideas as opposed to I made a pulse jet yeah. orange juice can. <laughs> Yeah, it's like so dude, that, welcome to youtube like damn it like why is it so why does everything have to be so convoluted some of the videos you can redo i'm sure but they're they were probably yeah some of the ones yeah, that were I actually just, good ideas you can redo but yeah some of the breakfast ones hey don't, it, don't oh, say that to what his what face behind his back it's a great it's a great video i'd watch it i'd watch it <laughs> all right let's let me use some of mine uh, this is like my on my website uh, project small. idea. Well, I've never. Oh, oh, I can I can fix that. I uh, I have not updated this in like four years. Project idea: money gun. <laughs> oh, I think I think you've told uh, you've told me about this one. I think I know what you're talking about. There actually is a better idea. I wanted to make it rain from space by like just. Wait, right, I think they actually yeah. like sell those. They do sell them. It, do that? I, For, like, I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't know why I wanted just. It's like stupid. Uh, uh, stroboscope 2.0, blowing up LEDs. <laughs> <laughs> I just, why just is this like all publicly like posted? posted? I, I don't just, like, make a yeah, list. This is just sort of like when William Osmond was trying to be Ben Krasnow instead of, you know, a, a man stealing radios out of old cars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is, oh man, this one's really bad. Apple boxes. I wanted to make like movie set boxes that they used to like prop things up. That's, that's it. it. That's well, the entire I was, idea. Like, I, wanted, I was like, what? I was like, yeah, <laughs> doing. Yeah. That's the entire idea. That's the it's entire making idea. wooden yeah. boxes. It's just arts and crafts. <laughs> making wooden boxes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You like those boxes that are like made with wood slats? Yeah, so that you can like stack them to like you can get. It's like a really good kind of height adjustment. <laughs> but it's like, how is that? Because it was probably like, oh, I, I, we could use some apple boxes. That'd be nice to have these. And I was so like, oh, what if we it, make yeah. them? We can make a video about it. That is actually. Oh, I, I, the, I get what you're talking. about. I remember about, the yeah. early days. Yeah, on YouTube. You would just, it's everything. You're, it, almost to the point where you're like, I have to sweep the floor. I'll make a video about that. That's a Nile Green video. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there, there's somebody, I guarantee there's somebody who's like, oh, there's a Nile Green channel where he puts <laughs> all the like super garbage. <laughs> I, had to, I had to vacuum the floor. It was really dirty. That's the whole video. I, I mean, Nile Brown. <laughs> <laughs> what's that this is, this is just your brain on on youtube like trying to figure out the youtube algorithm it's like your brain's pid like trying to zone yeah but you know it's, it's not like, even it's not even the algorithm though because the algorithm just like it only performs but it, it's just trying to maximize like what people want to see yeah so it's like really it's just yeah but your early videos like that's how you figure out what people want to see so you're like trying a bunch of stuff that that like you kind like of you like just, you just garbage. don't get why people like my stuff. early videos were me trying to make stuff that I thought was like useful to me or that I yeah. thought was cool, like making the skateboard yeah. or making like a telemetry system or like the Apple boxes. Um, it definitely has. There's like this evolution where you learn that like, oh, well, people want to see they want to see things like a little bit different. Like they want more of an idea and less of a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, when I first started, it's it's. The way that I would say, maybe it's a bad analogy, but it's like, I'll actually, I'll just explain it first without any analogy. It's just, you don't understand why people like the content at all. So I felt, at least for me, I always had to present something, some tangible piece of something that was value. So like what Will said, teaching, like showing people how to do something, mm. showing, making something that you think people would find useful. Like you have to be giving some sort of tangible value um, and it took a long time to understand, I guess, the less tangible part, which is like <coughs> the uh, entertainment side of it and how to put the whole video together. Yeah. But at first, you're so in your head, like to get good views, I need to just do like what's really important is just that delivering that thing that you think is like, imp I don't know how to really. Yeah, well, I mean, like my, you know my I mean. blog. So my website uh, just my name dot com. Um, <laughs> my name all, com. Like it's all blog <laughs> posts with code mm. and like <clears throat> examples of like how to do this and like some of these projects aren't even videos. It's yeah, just, like, I mean, here's you, how you, I did this. Like here's the code yeah. for it. You've got and a project on that like blog is that was essentially the um, that that whole wind car thing that that Derek did, right? 
Like his yeah, I, I have a version of the wind car way before, before Derek before ever Derek did it. made it cool. Yeah, except it doesn't use oh, wind. Did you actually make one? Well, it was yeah. slightly. It was. It's it was one the, of my first the, videos on my channel. It was a similar concept, but it wasn't a wind car. See? It was like yeah. a car where look, there was like look a at here. Yeah. Oh man, I should I should post a picture. I'll post a picture and then Zach can put it. It's a picture of yeah. a car with a propeller on top of yeah. it, showing the car going says, forwards. You'll make a propeller propeller that lets you drive into the wind. This is the picture yeah. that I drew for my. Oh, wait, so you literally did a wind car too? I literally made the, the oh. whole concept was the idea of driving into the wind and using the power of the wind to make you go forwards. Because I was thinking of the you had the one where it's like it had a string where you pulled it and pulling the string backwards made the car go forwards. I was thinking of that. I didn't realize you also yeah, literally but, made a wind no, car. No, it's but it's part of the same concept. Right. Yeah. Like a counterintuitive so my, my, movement. Yeah, exactly. My my thought was, well, if you if you like, wouldn't it be weird? I did some. My brain sometimes, like, I swear to God, will find like a path to somewhere, and I don't understand how or why. And this, there's, it's happened a couple of times. This is one of them where it's like I can't explain to you why I thought this would work. I have no idea. I have no idea how or why. I just had this weird feeling. Like, I bet you you could use the energy from the wind to drive into the wind. <laughs> I mean, I've had ideas like that. You just, you just feel like it, it feels like work. it should work, right? And so yeah. I did. I like did a bunch of experiments. <laughs> yeah, like I, think I did look. simulations in SolidWorks, and I was like, "Holy shit! I think this might work." And then I like did some math about gear ratios, and I couldn't use wind because like there's not a lot of wind, and I'm not gonna <laughs> like you know this is me in a part an apartment with no money to make YouTube videos, so it's like okay, I'll just make it a string that I pull. Right, 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 right. What a, wait? What a what a fan work. Yeah, that's what Derek did. Oh, did he? I thought he mm -hmm. did like a. Oh yeah. No, well, that's right. I, I say Derek did it. <laughs> he did the big brain YouTuber thing, showing off other people's projects. <laughs> well, I mean, that's like Derek, this. you're a fraud <laughs> and a frog. That's like part of like I think what you know, like what handsome. Nigel is getting to, right? Which is like like at the end of the day sort of the thing that the person wants to see isn't necessarily even like you building the thing. Sometimes you could just show up and like look at a thing that someone else did. Yeah. And like, that's a perfectly but, fine video. Yeah. So to elaborate a bit on what I was saying, it's like, because you don't understand how to make content, you're so obsessed with thinking that the only thing that drives views and I guess people liking the video is that you provided something of value. Yeah. Like of tangible mm -hmm. value. Yeah. So early on, Everyone, and including myself, people would be like, if you just made a video about meth, it would just get a billion views. <laughs> I guarantee you that if I made a video that was just literally me making meth, not like nowadays it's no i'm saying nowadays uh, okay, no, 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 no. i'm saying like, if i did it back did when it I, now it would get a billion views when i did it if i started <laughs> in like when i had no idea how to make videos there was some there were some videos there was actually one video of a guy i don't know if it's still there of a guy making meth, I think it had like 50k views after like a year. It's a lot of people searching for how to make meth. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I, don't remember, I don't remember how many views it was, people. but it's the idea where it's like making that now would, it just, I had other videos that weren't meth that were performing better. And it's like, yeah, the idea of meth is like people will look like be interested in it. But it's not just the idea alone that you made meth is not enough to drive the views. The meme of Nile Red making meth. But yeah, it's a, yeah. that'd be different. Like, right. But then that's another layer of it being like, OK, guys, I've been doing a YouTube YouTube or I've been doing chemistry for this many years and I finally broken down. I'm right. going to make meth. But then you're <laughs> now you're trying to create some sort of story and content around. Okay, so it. what what video do you think would do better making meth or making meth? In an easy bake I know you're going to ask it. The second one does better because there's some weird context to it where yeah, you want to know why, you, like what the hell's you going need to, on. Exactly. Where if it's just like, I made meth, here's the instructions how I did it. People go, I don't actually want to know how. So they might not even watch it. Right. They'll, they might skim through it and be like, well, I mean, I could watch it if I wanted to know. Whereas the easy, if you said making meth in an easy bake oven, there's not some like weird story. <laughs> and like I said, the, I should, I should actually, I was, the idea that I always said was making meth with the police. I'm, I'm convinced there's a way to can. No, that's like, that's the best way to do it. I'm somebody, convinced you know, there's a way like, to convince them to help me make meth. <laughs> no, so you gotta go to not like only legal, but also ridiculous. <laughs> or the government or something. Yeah, like, like getting, gotta make getting the, the meth standard. Police. 
We we there's got somebody makes a methamphetamine standard yeah. for like determining if I just think meth is I, actually I, I, meth. I was gonna say I think there's a hilarious thing because all of the videos or a lot of them that are out there of them like the saying oh we made meth and they're like of uh, some police officer in a hazmat suit claiming that all the chemicals are oh, super yeah. dangerous so and they're doing it in like a parking lot with you know danger tape around i kind of want to make a video like that where i'm in a hazmat suit <laughs> with like danger tape just because it's so stupid I, i'm pretty sure the only reason it's dangerous is because of the solvents like vaporizing and filling a room up right yeah it's like or just like oh you have strong acid but just wear gloves right, and right. goggles so if they're outside they don't need the tape because it makes the, no sense yeah. it makes absolutely no sense but that's what i'm saying it's ridiculous like it just i think it'd be hilarious don't listen to the government <laughs> also, kids you have that suit po- arm police around <laughs> if you cook crazy. On a, this is bad uh if you use don't you i mean this is just applies to everything flammable don't use a stove Open with a the window. flame yeah no exactly. do it on an electric skillet <laughs> and also, don't boil solvents indoors. That's like another good tip. Oh, yeah, I'm, don't, I'm right don't use down. an open hold flame. On, like, on. if you're boiling gasoline, don't do it do you in actually the house. Do that for meth? No, no, no. Oh. And well, it's just any solvent. I think <laughs> right. they some a lot of them use ether. Mm. So it's like if you're boiling ether, which is like ether, what they use for down, like. Alan, write that can, down. can we get a tally on how okay. many episodes is, we've talked about meth in? Ether is ridiculously <laughs> flammable, though. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Not only, I think if you put enough ether fumes in the air, you might just pass out too. Wait, if we, uh, if Nigel, if you did that on stage, like, is every <laughs> step of the. Oh, well, no, no. It's, it's every. No, hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Everyone's coming to the Safety Third live show. We figured out what we're going to do. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Reach under your seat. Is, find a little find an ingredient. <laughs> is every step of the process illegal, or is just the last step of the process illegal? Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Probably the, just the last. Just the very. Uh, so, you no, could no, you. No, no. Like, it 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 might it might de- it depends probably where you are because I think in the U.S. like the precursors no it's illegal they, to buy they, they banned a lot of like I think there's a lot of there might be the like intermediate ones that are banned or illegal really? I don't know there's I don't probably know. something about buying like if you're doing it with Sudafed there's probably a rule about buying it with the intent of using it for something other than its like intended purpose right. Right. The problem with Sudafed, like, I mean, now we're getting to the depths of it. But to go from Sudafed to meth, I think it's you can do it in one step. So there's almost oh, no. Okay, there's already one step away. Dude, this is like this is Nathan for you, or Nigel's like, and then he, he like puts it on. It's like if this vial tips over one degree, yeah. and he's like, and it's like sponsored by like soda, and he's like bouncing on this mattress to show how, like, how stable it is. It'll be illegal. Like, to show you how, yeah, to show you how good. And there's a little test strip up. in there that that confirms yeah. that. Was made. Yeah. <laughs> just like, to show you how comfortable this mattress is, I am going to be. I'm going to put myself in the middle of the lot. I know you have DEA agents around the bed. Yeah, they, they have their guns trained, trained on him. Like they're waiting. Yeah, if this, if they, if this, they, if this, you just see little lasers bouncing yeah. around on him the whole time. If this mattress like moves even one quarter of an inch, <laughs> I am going to federal prison. <laughs> <laughs> just bumps it in. It's just done. I'm just. It's over. Wait. What if you? What if you do a video with the police where where you like get a bunch of meth that they confiscate it and you turn it back into cuffs? Uh, oh. uh, Can you do that? Uh, Sudafed. Yeah. yeah. Keep turning I mean, turning I mean, meth back yeah, into cough syrup. Turning meth back into. into uh, I think <laughs> turning it back into Sudafed would be very hard. What does Sudafed do? Is it cough suppressant? Uh, it's I. It's like a Makes yeah. You feel it, better. It, it makes like Wait, I think it contracts your blood vessels, so it makes you can <laughs> you can breathe better. Okay, um, makes you feel less sick, basically. It More basically peppy. it it it, <laughs> it contracts your blood vessels, I think, and makes it so that you get less like inflammation. Mm. It's not inflammation; it's just puffiness, so you can breathe easier. Your lungs don't feel as congested. Okay, I so think. it's easier to turn into meth than to turn it back it's, into. It's kind of amphetamine, <laughs> kind of. Okay. Uh. I mean, it is. It's, it's very, it's very close to. Write that down. I mean, it's one step away. <laughs> 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 Alex, you're taking notes. <laughs> what did Adam Savage say? It's science if you write it down. Or I don't oh know. yeah, as long as you write it down, it's science. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, with all with all that being said, I have not and will not make math unless it's disclaimer. with the police. Yeah, yeah. unless it's sponsored it's- by purple mattresses <laughs> <laughs> to show how comfortable their mattresses. <laughs> that, that is kind of funny, though. <laughs> Damn, that's such a good idea. Yeah, I, I wonder I, if turning <laughs> meth back into cough syrup is a. If, if there was a way to do that legally, I would I would watch that video. I don't think you can. Well, you, you at least very yeah. easily. What? Uh, what country? <laughs> There's a lot of there's there's the other idea the soap video mm. yeah the collaboration where we t- uh, turn human fat into soap <laughs> and it's it turns like out the hardest part of that experiment is getting human fat yeah what country <laughs> is it most legal in or do they or the least illegal yeah at least yeah what country is it the least illegal to get human fat <laughs> may have to go somewhere where there's could, no laws could you, <laughs> could you do this in Antarctica or is there some weird like Antarctica treaty I think there is some I mean. We don't need to get into, you know, all the ins and outs of Antarctica, uh, but... <laughs> Not that you know that. <laughs> yeah, Nigel, Nigel knows all the ins and outs of Antarctica. <laughs> but um, I remember, I think there's a treaty... Because, okay, okay I, I, the reason I kind of know this is because, um, you know, because of the fact that there may or may not be an ice wall, you know. Right, uh, yeah, if the Earth is flat. Yeah. If so the Earth is flat. part of it was there is a treaty between, like, I think a bunch of different countries... Because they, if I, I, I mean, either I just, I read this on a website that's total lies or it was Wikipedia or it was like a government website. Whatever comes know. out of Nigel's mouth right now, we have no idea if it's true or not. It would be the most racist thing we've there ever was a heard. Treaty. As a Japanese man, I, to say this. I believe there was a treaty that countries did sign and it was about how like the laws and control of antarctica would go because they they're everyone's acknowledging that nobody really owns it but everyone kind of can do stuff on it like shared kind of i don't know but that's where some of the theory comes for you know for the flat earth stuff because there is this weird thing where everybody signed this treaty oh but god then it's kind of like nobody does anything there so well, I guess, except I guess the ice wall i guess so if you had to guess it's probably <laughs> illegal to to do illegal things in Antarctica. I think it's like you, if you go there as like an American and you do something, you'll be tried in America for it. Ah, okay. What about international waters? I I don't think it's considered, it's like international, but the laws from your own country will apply when you're there. Yeah, I think for international waters, the rule is actually that the laws that apply are whatever flag your boat is flying actually. What if we fly well, the Jolly, the jolly no Rancher? Flag. What's it called? Well, I think that's why that, that flag is supposed to be scary because in the olden times it was like, oh, crap, like they don't care. But wait, can you hot swap the flags that are on your boat? I think so you there's put a whole country. There's actually there's like a whole thing where it's like the like because of those laws, like the, um, depending. I think it's like it's like certain laws that <laughs> floating that, drug laboratory. Yeah. Well, no, it's, it's, it's like the, in the international waters. I think it's, it's like the it, your boat the is country, tied to your flag. Yeah, the country's flag that you fly is very important because it has implications for like what your sort of like probably like fuel and and uh, uh, like wh- mm. how you can go to ports and stuff and regulations. I think what country's flag you fly has a lot of effect on what regulations affect your boat specifically. And I think there is Wait. a big thing where people will fly the most lenient countries just... It's like how everyone starts an LLC in Delaware or whatever. That's how mm. cruise ships work. They're all from like, you know, the Barbados. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. like don't have to pay okay. taxes. Can I make meth mm. in Barbados? <laughs> so I have a question. When you say the, the flag you, know you, you fly... You can go to Cambodia, buy grenades, throw grenades. It's, you can't... You can't do that here, so you get in trouble for that when you get back. You can no. throw grenades in Cambodia. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can shoot RPGs and stuff, I think. Damn it, what country can I make meth in? <laughs> what country? There's um, got to be a country, I mean, you can right? Make them they just haven't country. written it down yet. Like some country in, like, I don't know, Africa? <laughs> You mean just saying fighting like, a, like one of those like tribes that are not like haven't been contacted by the outside world yes. yet? You go there to oh, like a house. In, in Oregon, it's <laughs> been decriminalized. But that's, that's, <laughs> le, it's, it's L methamphetamine. Well, what's the difference? It's different. There's they, because okay we, now we don't need to get into the ins and outs. <laughs> oh, of methamphetamine. here we go. Here we but go. There's two mirror, that's there's that's two what he said images. last time before he went on a ten minute <laughs> yeah. rant about Antarctica. Uh, there's two. There's a mirror like, in the ice wall. <laughs> like there's methamphetamine, um, and then there's a mirror because it. I mean, one of the molecules. There's maybe there's a couple. I don't remember what like where it is on the molecule. 
but you can there's a mirror image of meth so there's two different versions of the um uh what's of the molecule hmm. that are mirror images of each other one is the illegal one one is the and actually depending on how your meth your meth dealer um made the meth or got it uh it can have either be pure one version or it's often a mix of both just like kind of crappy chemistry no it's the limitation of the chemistry so if you start with um it depends if you start with Sudafed and you do i think some of the classic reactions on it i think you get the you get a hundred percent of like so it's already you know, been like pure that one's been purified before well kevin so kevin kevin knows some chemistry so it's it's the enantiomers of the molecule and depending on how yeah. you build it so if you have a chiral center of a uh, carbon which just basically just means does that carbon have four different things on it kevin do you actually have any idea what he's talking about right now <laughs> I have a concept. <laughs> okay. I know what he's talking about. I know there's this chiral is crystals in Death Stranding. Okay, I'll explain this very quick. If you have a carbon no, I, I and it has four different substituents on it, it just doesn't matter what they are, just four different yeah, things. Yeah, could be. So one can even be, it can be connected to one carbon, the other one's connected to two carbons. That's that's considered two different substituents. A substituent is a group of be, atoms yeah, that replace anything. hydrogen oh, oh no. atoms. <laughs> Alan just writing it all down. But basically, carbon atom with four dip because it can have four bonds, and each bond is connected to something different. That would be a chiral carbon because it means that depending on how the atoms are oriented or the the bonds are oriented around yeah. the carbon. It can be like flipped and mirrored. It, yes. So it can it's just you get two versions, and depending on the chemistry you do, you can sometimes flip you can have an inversion of the orientation. Right, right. Because uh, le so left-handed meth means... is more of a body high and right-handed meth is more of a <laughs> mind high. God, imagine if, if it I was just Nigel's know. podcast. It was only him and it was an hour and a half of oh, this God. crap. <laughs> Either way, basically some of the chemistry will lead you to having a mix of the two and some will lead you to having... Yeah, some, some is like a good day and the other is like a bad day. <laughs> 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 what's the difference like what is the like, well it says the, the, I think the one, one of the versions one is, is sold as, an, like, as a decongestant decongestant over the counter oh. why did you make that yeah. stuff then is that illegal uh i think it potentially it would be if you make that it would be um uh, i mean you definitely wouldn't be taken down as bad i don't know how <laughs> well, you might be in trouble still that, there you know. go yeah, that's your that's end mad, dude that's, that's you can make point. that make that i really want to see you walk into a police station and it's just like the camera is like sitting outside you just see the front doors <laughs> and you have like a wireless mic and it's like uh hey I, i'm trying to i want to do a youtube video where i cook meth with the police <laughs> I have a YouTube Get channel the and they just look at you and it's like are you serious and it's like yeah who, do, who should I talk to a psychologist this is like maybe? a Ross Creations video <laughs> yeah. uh, no so the last thing I'll say about like that mirror image crap was when I worked in a lab there was a giant bottle of ephedrine which is one of the main precursors pseudo ephedrine no not pseudo ephedrine uh, ephedrine is real solid? ephedrine or ephedrine is there so pseudo ephedrine I forget the exact difference it's it's slightly different than ephedrine i don't remember exactly what it is they can like both a, adrenochrome versus pseudo -adrenochrome. look it up <laughs> they're, they're both they're both one step away from meth okay I'm, but we had a I'm giant gonna, you just tell me to look it up i'm gonna look it up and i'm gonna still have it no just look up pseudo ephedrine pseudo ephedrine well, he spelled it wrong p-s-e-u-d-o oh my god it doesn't start with an s P-S e-u-d-o ephedrine yeah okay i'll just like and then the autocrat. other one is just ephedrine uh, decongestant that shrinks blood vessels. Yeah, and, and then now ephedrine, ephedrine is a medication and stimulant. Yeah, so click this picture. I think that might be the. I think uh, it's banned. Is it so? If you actually banned? do verses, because people yeah. like use it for fat burner. I think it's. Oh. I think it's the again going. It's it comes back to how like the molecules are oriented. So wait, maybe this if you click that. This is great for the audio listeners. Yeah, oh, yeah, all, yeah. This so, dead, so, all this actually, dead no, air literally is. Literally nobody can see Nigel pointing at <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. But, but either way, the ephedrine has, if you see the if you see the oh, lines, yeah, I'll, I'll be the audience yeah, right now. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, I see. Uh, the lines here are both solid for ephedrine okay. or both lines. They're both. 
but the pseudo ephedrine they're flip flopped. <laughs> they're not the same. Okay, so it's just like a like a single difference on the same molecule. But meth, you take away this one, so it doesn't. Right. Okay, so the OH, way, the OH, we get rid of the yeah, OH. Okay, just write that down now. <laughs> if we get rid of the OH, it's on the <laughs> top. How do you get this close to the molecule so you know that you're cutting off the OH instead of the <laughs> very, very precise? Also, okay, Amazon, very tiny, very tiny exact amount. <laughs> very tiny knife. <laughs> A knife, knife for molecules. But, wait, I just want to finish saying why I mentioned this. Molecules wrong. This what? spelling is not my strong point. There's actually a lot of things that aren't my strong point. <laughs> wait, can you... I want to say this really quick. Why can you physically cut a molecule? I think you no, can cut with no. obsidian. Uh, you, you can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now you're like, nah, nah. If well. you, tear, if, if you <laughs> tear paper, you're probably breaking bonds. Here we go. No, are you, or are you just like tearing the, like the hydrogen bonds apart? No, no. If you have like a cellulose chain that's like a thousand, like that's pretty. Oh, it uh, has to break, basically. You you probably yeah. could break some. I don't know. I've never really looked into it. I've always thought it was weird, but yeah, you can break them. Like if you take, uh, for example, nylon, which is a polymer, and you just chop it to like a super fine powder, you definitely broke bonds. There you, you had go. to, right? I don't At know. least some. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, all the, that's a t- the, all I was like, mentioning. What's, for what's it? the energy that you need to break a bond? Isn't it? <laughs> Kevin, like- I want to finish my story. <laughs> About the ice wall? <laughs> no, no. I just said the ephedrine the that I had in the lab. The oh, right, all I right, to do right. Was I finish forgot. Just my like comment on that, and then we can I move feel on. Like I'm like I'm hanging on for dear life right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All, all I wanted to say, all I wanted to say is, we had a giant bottle. It was 500 grams of ephedrine, and I remember seeing that, being like, oh my god, why does the lab have like 500 grams of something that you could just basically turn into meth in no effort? So I thought it was very weird, but then it turns out that it was because it's one of the like mirrored versions of it. So it's valueless. No one wants it. No one. So did you try? No, yeah. I just left it there. <laughs> what did you say that about it? Well, I looked at it and went like, this is very odd. But then when you look it up, you're like, yeah, you can't actually make, you'll be making the nasal decongestant from it. It's just, that's how the, the undergrads practice making. <laughs> exactly. I don't know why they had it now that I think of it. I don't know what they were doing. Dude, that that would be an epic lab in chemistry class. Like we're making the left-handed version of meth. (laughs) Exactly. That's wow. Is that is that like a a mega loophole where you can make the entire process of manufacturing meth like publicly available without actually making meth? What the? mm, I mean, I think I, you have to, to look in the legality. I don't know. I think, I think if, if you showed that to a police officer, he would flip through the law book and he would go, there's no rule in here that says you can't make left-handed meth and he'd leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I'd like to yeah, point out that, yeah. that even, even if the rule book said that it, it didn't specifically say a dog could not play basketball, it, it is for sure a rule that the only enrolled students could play on the school team. And that dog, there's no way that dog was enrolled as a student in the school. Are you talking I about have to say it. Of course, <laughs> yeah, yes, Airbud, yes, yes, it's Airbud. Do you, you know, do you know like, like, I think eight or nine dogs died when they filmed that movie? <laughs> What in all, in all in a basketball related accidents? Yeah, horrible, horrible high speed <laughs> basketball accidents. <laughs> dog oh, getting torn in half. <laughs> I just think it's funny because when you read when you read about it, they they did have like half a dozen dogs, but Wait. it's not because they kept dying. It's because they they said they can't do that many tricks. They have to like train one dog. Oh, to do one so thing each really dog well. like knew how to do one yeah. thing. Oh, right. okay, that's smart. It's kind of crazy that you have so many different dogs and no one notices. Right. <laughs> No, this is the notice. stunt dog. It's the dog that's bad at tricks, so they just push it around for stunts. So apparently, apparently, babies can't actually. Uh, that's like one of the like when you're a baby, you've just got like way too many neurons and connections, and then those get pruned as you get older, and so so your brain specializes over time. And like one of the first things to go is apparently babies can recognize almost any kind of face so like animal faces like you know when you have like different dogs different cats and they like they look kind of the same babies apparently can differentiate between their faces like they look like entirely different individuals to them 
and then also it's as the like baby you grows spend up, spend all your points on yeah, yeah. Faces and, and none uh, of them are not crapping your pants. <laughs> it's also uh, the thing is the, the the sort of the race that the baby spends the most time with. They get, I mean, they get better at, at recognizing their faces instead of other races' faces, and so when the baby grows up into a person. Is that why they all look the same? I, I mean, there's kind of there's kind of there's kind of like a thing in there. Uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. My mom had the hardest time differentiating the faces of the white kids that I was friends with in high school. Really? Yes. Yes. That's, I mean, I, it's funny because everyone, I, people get so up and on. Even about like that your crap. close friends. Yeah. Like, like, like Matt yeah. and Mike like, and Jordan. Like they all look the same to her. They're all like the same kids. <laughs> <to her. laughs> Maj- Majordan, Majark, Majordan. You just had one name for all of them. <laughs> and it's like, you know. I that, mean, it like, makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I never, I never, like, I just thought, I thought, I thought it was the funniest thing because it was kind of like flipping the script because it's like, they, she would mm-hmm. get them mixed up and they'd be like, how, we don't look anything alike. How are you getting them mixed up? <laughs> I was like, dude, no, you all look the same, dude. <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder if they could, if the study has been done about, like, uh, babies that were raised around a bunch of different, like, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure that that must have been done. better at recognizing... I don't know. I'm sure there must be something, but I don't know off the top of my head. We don't have any. I um, think even I, I I feel like you can also develop better abilities to recognize. Like if you were like, did your mom get better at recognizing? I guess with, um, there's a better way of saying it. White people faces. Did your mom become <laughs> less, I was less, say, less racist? Most racist time? thing we've ever heard. Did your racist <laughs> mom become less racist? <laughs> yes, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I mean, I think there's definitely like probably like like you can probably spend more time with like groups of people that don't look like your family and you're like immediate like where you grew up and like get better at it. I think for sure. Because I feel like if you I, if you hang out, I, I think I've seen some animal documentaries with the people who hang out with just, you know, wolves and all, like for years, all oh, the time. Oh, they can like differentiate between they, them. They, 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 they can just see a new wolf and be like, I don't know this. Like they get very tuned into the small intricacies of right. their faces. Just because imagine, emotion. imagine if yeah. you could, imagine if you could tell the difference just at a glance without like spending time with with animals, like watching an yeah. air, like imagine Airbud was any other movie, mm, and like, it's like six correct. entirely different yeah, people yeah, playing yeah. the same person. <laughs> <laughs> How bizarre it would be. <laughs> it's like the, uh, have you seen like Epic movie or whatever where I think it's Anna Ferris. She like, she's in this pink dress oh, get, and she yeah. gets on the motorcycle. I love and she, Anna like, Ferris. The engine. It's like a close up and it cuts mm-hmm. wide and there's the stunt double. But it's, yeah. like, <laughs> it's this like huge black guy. And he's, and he's, and he's in this tiny pink dress. <laughs> and he like, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea. It's like like an animal watching yeah. you be like, oh, same person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like Jimmy. Jimmy watching the TV screen has no idea. <laughs> Jimmy's like, this is fine. This yeah. is fine. <laughs> Especially because if it was six dogs for six different tricks, like imagine watching like a sports movie where it's like the main character for each different movie <laughs> just, does it's an entirely just, different person. <laughs> they kind of did that like with one uh, person can only dribble the ball yeah, like what? with Don Cheadle <laughs> which one uh uh Rody. oh Rody, yeah yeah where uh I mean or uh um, like Cuba Gooding Jr. looks different than I remember <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Banner, Bruce Banner I I miss oh, yeah. uh Edward Norton as bad Bruce as, Banner. Ro- as uh Rody, though uh Edward Norton to uh what's his face the uh Mark Ruffalo uh, yeah. I, I I miss I miss Edward Norton I do. Uh, I don't like. That. Are you talking about like? Like remember? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, so t- I'm so tired right oh, now. Oh yeah, you guys are living at like two <laughs> like a.m. time right changed. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah in the MCU, the like in, the, in like the early parts of the MCU when they're still Kevin sorting things out. Kevin could use some right now. I I didn't like Ben <laughs> Affleck when when he was Batman. You don't like Batfleck? I don't really even remember him as <clears throat> Batman. Was I don't think I have any problem. Who was with he? Was he Batman, Batman or was he Superman, Superman right? Mm, yeah. Yeah, and Justice League. Oh, was there another League. one? Yeah. Man, he was in Justice really League too. You, I don't know any of like the Wait, hierarchy. Actually, how long is the podcast anyway? Okay. Uh, anyways, buy tickets to the live <laughs> Wait, show. They didn't mean we'd have to end it immediately. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we at? <laughs> Probably like two hours. 120. No, it's 120 minus the four yeah, minutes. I guess, I guess things go slower when. You're sleep deprived? Sure. 
Uh, anyways, no refunds on the podcast. <laughs> 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 it's called a live show, but it'll be dead. I, I think, yeah, I think Kevin and I, we will promise that we will. It's we'll sleep before. How are we gonna edit out all the the racist shit you guys say? <laughs> Good luck. Um, Good luck. Like you're gonna be like with four minutes. I tell you, we're gonna give somebody in the audience a remote control for a teaser. <laughs> are you guys aren't gonna allow to bring recording have, devices in phones? so that no one can record. Do we have microphones? I don't know. You can have somebody who just turns off the mic, so we just get yeah. silent. They just censor us in real time. A neural network that can detect. Yeah, like it can in detect co- your facial co- expression. Co- yeah. <laughs> Controversial topics and yeah. then just cut it <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wear like one of those neural like yeah. the brain yeah, yeah we all have caps on you can see our brain That's scans in real time and the, the racist <laughs> center of the brain when it lights up your <laughs> mic cuts <laughs> out <laughs> 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 Yay! <laughs> Anyways, if you want to come see some racist shit, you can buy your tickets. <laughs> Safety third dot live. <laughs> I mean, you can't promise racist stuff. <laughs> you have all these racist show up. That's, that's a very <laughs> high expectation. It's an easy obligation. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that that uh, the TikTok where he's talking about which racist oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, the, that's like I think might be like the textbook definition of a bait and switch. <laughs> the perfect race joke. The perfect joke about race. I don't even. I feel like that's like you can't even spoil it. Yeah. Do we just tell people to just, look up look up just, a, yeah search race joke on TikTok and just yeah, hope to God that the race is look which up, race is the which worst. race is the best? No, which race is or the worst? Which, I think yeah. That. Uh, Look it up on. No, uh, it's not a question. I'm saying search. Yeah. <laughs> Look it up. Also, also, if something comes up that isn't the TikTok, uh, then I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just directing people towards horribly racist. This is content. this is this is the pipeline, dude. This is how the people get radicalized as they listen to this podcast. They Google the wrong thing. <laughs> Whoops. Just trying to think. Uh, what the, whose podcast could they end up on if they search for that? Oh, no. Pipeline. It's it's a direct ben, pipeline ben to Joe Shapiro, Rogan from he, here. Ben Shapiro, I don't know what Ben Shapiro does. <laughs> we don't need any podcast drama here. <laughs> Bleep that part. Uh, the, who's the guy? The gay frogs? Uh, oh, uh, right. Uh, just, Alex, uh, Jones. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. He just got in trouble for something. His wife and kids. Oh, Parkland. I I oh, is that what it was? He's, he's just always, something's <laughs> happening all the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> See the video? Yeah, I showed I shared the video that was on Reddit of him when he was way younger. And he's like a, he looks like a totally like normal dude. That's oh, yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like calling out weird. a congressman or something. Yeah, like yeah. a local politician for having mm- plants in their yard like a super cluttered yard even though they were like I don't know it was but it was just like a it was almost sort of what you'd see on uh, like mm. the daily like show just or, okay yeah. But then he turned into it's just it's something I think it's when you get older it's gonna happen to all of us we're all just gonna it's turn into crazy. just weird yeah weird conspiracy theorists like anti-vaxxers Facebook talking about yeah, exactly. the, the water is turning the frogs gay but then selling weird supplements at the same time <laughs> yeah uh, supplements to make the frogs straight again <laughs> <laughs> Is it, that's a video for Nile Blue. Turning frogs gay and then turning them straight again. <laughs> that's now green. You guys really don't have high standards for my second channel. <laughs> yeah, so that's Nile Brown. That's Nile Brown. <clears throat> <laughs> Just straight garbage. Yeah. This is of him pooping. <laughs> <laughs> What? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Anyways, come to the live show. Now, now he's gonna poop live. On stage. <laughs> we're gonna be doing a lot on this live show. Apparently, I mean, you guys haven't said about anything you're doing. We're doing three of them. We just talk about the same thing all three times. No, it's gotta would, be maybe, different maybe each time. Because people are gonna be getting three tickets, right? Yeah, <laughs> they can't. They better anything. be. If they if they haven't sold out, just keep buying until they do. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like it's fully sold out. We show up with ten people there. <laughs> We're just really committed. <laughs> okay, wait. Here's an idea. If we find, if we, if we hired like, uh, like a Hollywood casting agent, and we just found actors that like sort of resembled all of us, and we had the three shows run at the exact same time, would anyone notice? No. No. <laughs> I don't think like, so. Like if, if they're uh, sitting far away and like they're all introduced as like this, here's William Osmond, Nigel. Like you can't get Braun. too close because of COVID. Yeah, you yeah. And yeah. Back, they have the masks on. Yeah, we keep the masks on. Like yes, exactly. <laughs> no, totally, we can get away with it. <laughs> but we won't, right? We should say no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. That's not going to happen. But we could. We would never do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please. Just <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> Please. All right, guys, got to buy a ticket because this is the end of our uh, our uh, fundraising event. We got to raise at least a thousand more tickets so I can get off the podcast and go pee. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Kevin's gonna pee live on stage. <laughs> Don't worry, you can't see. That's if you buy four tickets. Okay, that's a promise. Okay, bye.